Hello, everyone, and welcome to Orchidea Fragrances webinar on exploring fruity floral trends for product design. My name is Cindy Yu, and I am the Fragrance Marketing Manager at Orchidea Fragrances, a global company that specializes in the creation and manufacturing of fragrance, essential oils, and ingredient solutions. Joining me today is one of our expert perfumers, Jim Powell, who will be sharing some of his insights on the fragrances. We are very excited to be speaking with you today, and we hope you find this event both insightful and inspiring. We also have Steven Springle from our marketing team on the call today to field any questions that arise during the presentation. So please don't hesitate to send a note or ask a question during today's session. We will also try to address any remaining questions at the end. Uh, throughout the presentation, Steven will also be polling two questions, so be on the lookout for that. And if you prefer not to answer, you can always click the X on the top right corner of the question box. For those of you that registered early and requested fragrance samples, you should have received six fragrance oils in amber bottles in the mail, along with blotter strips for the evaluation. As we go through the presentation, we will be going through six fruity floral inspired fragrances where Jim will share additional insights. And as we go through the presentation, the product images are intended to illustrate trend insights and do not suggest a working relationship. These fragrances represent our endless weekend collection featuring six fruity florals designed to embody a bright and joyful weekend away. They are formulated to meet Prop 65, IFRA, and EU compliance. Our perfumers have created two versions of each fragrance designed for either personal care applications or for candles to support any project development work you may be working on. All right, so now let's dive in. The global fragrance ingredient market is projected to reach around $12 billion by 2027 with many fruit inspired products across market segments. Many include bold, juicy notes with some noting elements of fantasy and imaginative concepts. As fruity florals continue this trajectory, consumers are seeking out seasonal experiences through scent. In fact, Spate reported 48.3% growth year over year in summer fragrances. Brands really have an opportunity to tap into this growing demand and offer scents reflective of the seasons. When looking at beauty, personal care, and household product launches over time, we have seen an uptick in specific fruity components. Peach scents have grown 140%, with pear at 252%, and strawberry scented products have seen an 851% growth since 2020. In the upcoming slides, we'll dive a little bit deeper into more specific categories. Majority of the scented product launches fall into the body care category, as it remains an important part of the personal care routine. When surveyed, Mintel found that 29% of U.S. adults were using body care products more often than they were a year ago, with 37% of these consumers using more bath products. The appeal of new formats has also piqued consumer interest, with body serums driving innovation in this category, targeting whole body skincare benefits. According to Google Trends, there has also been a 1,025% increase in searches for body skin care and an impressive 845% surge in overall body care searches since December of 2023. Understanding consumers and what influences their purchase decision is critical. The chart on the right shows the different factors deemed important, and as you can see, having an appealing fragrance is number one, followed by safe or sensitive skin, and third being brand loyalty. As we explored recent uh, body care launches across both North America as well as Europe, some of the more popular and noteworthy fruity components include lychee, cherry, and pear. The global hair care segment forecast is $13.5 billion USD for 2028. Specifically in the US market, we are seeing growth in the number of product launches for both Mastige as well as Prestige brands. The integration of skincare ingredients continues to drive innovation within this space. Consumers expect more benefits from their conditioners than cleansing products, and a recent survey uh, reports that moisturization and damage repair as being the top two benefits sought after from consumers in terms of their conditioners. 
However, it should be noted that the product scent remains still important across generations as the hair washing experience is elevated through scent and helping to boost both self-care as well as wellness. Foodie fragrance is another trend that we see within hair care, and as that continues, the recent hair care launches across North America and Europe identifies noteworthy fruity components such as apple, mango, pomegranate, coconut, pineapple, and even banana. In fact, the term uh, foodie fragrance receives almost 3,000 monthly searches on average and considered to be a significant increase year over year. Candles remains a bright spot for fragrances, especially with the additional focus of self-care. The global candle market size has reached nearly $8.3 billion USD in 2023 and has an estimated compound annual growth rate of 2.7% for the 2024 to 2032 period. The spotlight on mental wellness really ushered in a lot of opportunities for candle brands as this shifted to becoming more of an important staple in the consumer's everyday lives. Scented products like candles really help to create a specific atmosphere, and this helps to promote relaxation for new home sensorial experiences. Emotive benefits play a big role in the purchase decision for candles, with 49% of surveyed consumers using it specifically to improve their mood. Seasonal air care launches were the most popular and frequent among North American consumers, followed by Europe reporting at about 13% of the launches. In fact, for U.S. consumers, 38% of air care users tend to choose scented products that particularly fits the season. And as we explored um, more recent candle launches across both North America and Europe, some of the more popular fruity notes uh, within this space are apple, berry, strawberry, mango, and pineapple. Fruity scents that have made its way into other segments and are noteworthy would include the lip care category, where brands are really tapping into scenting makeup as well as lip oil products for increased consumer appeal. Lip oils have been massively popular with new launches like Too Faced and their new line of kissing jelly lip oils. This particular collection includes six shades with corresponding um, scents like sour watermelon, raspberry, and grape soda. For differentiation purposes, when compared to glosses and other formats, lip oils are known more for delivering a glossy shine while nourishing lips. The texture is lighter weight and marketed as more moisturizing than the standard gloss, with added vitamins as well as other types of botanical extracts. Another interesting brand highlight is the um, In Beauty project that's shown here on the left hand or on the left hand side, and they have their limited edition Sips and Lips Duel, which is a collaboration with the popular Poppy Soda brand. This one features their Raspberry Rose and Cranberry Fizz lip oil set. Body mists have also made a huge comeback, um, with many scented launches like Pleur's Mango Mood and Sol de Janeiro's growing line of summery scents that really spotlights fruity florals. Body mists offer consumers a very playful way to experiment with scent and really allows for an increased layering experience within body care. After a light spritz, consumers can apply complementary products such as body oils or lotion. And again, this is a notable trend that's experiencing substantial growth, and it's mostly due to their affordability as well as their lighter scent profile. Finally, we have skincare, where brands are really embracing fruit-derived actives for a stronger emphasis and ties to natural food-based ingredients. Glow Recipe has an entire skincare range that features fruit callouts in almost every single product, ranging from papaya, guava, watermelon, plum, and strawberry. In fact, Glow Recipe's Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drop is formulated with strawberry enzymes to promote gentle exfoliation and smooth skin texture. Across the board, fruity scents are taking center stage and modern takes on edible inspired notes have really debuted in a range of recent market products. 
from mass to prestige, uh, scent is a key driver for product purchase. And even within the indie space, fruity florals have really made a bold statement. One example would be Ministry of Scent's Cacatiel Eau de Parfum that featured a fruity mimosa floral, highlighting a champagne fizz with a sweet and slightly powdery vanilla and cream dry down. Combinations of effervescent notes with fruity accords add this type of playfulness to the fragrance, and it really translates well for both spring and summer. Diptyque uh, also debuted their limited edition Parisian Cafe collection, which includes their fruits confit candle, experimenting with notes of sweet candied plum, intermingling with these bitter notes that you'll see of like orange as well as patchouli. Then the next two products highlighted here are very has very fruit forward notes of both strawberry and peach. Pleur's Strawberry Letter is a crisp fruity gourmand that has now been twice sold out since its launch. Uh, pulpy red strawberries combined with juicy plum nectar mixed with fresh florals and amber uh, in this really stylish type of take on strawberries. And another contemporary twist, we have Ellis Brooklyn's Peaches, um, their body mist, which is blended with sweet peach, pink pepper, water lily, orange flower, as well as sugared musk. And just in general, it's steering away from the more traditionally childish type of fruity aromas. This recent trend of juicy fruity scents are incorporated more with musk, ambers, as well as even earthy accords for a very uh, sophisticated grown-up feel. Food helps really connect consumers globally, and the recent trend of food-based scents and edible-inspired aromas allows for creativity to explore regional fruit selections, interpreting them in a very diverse range of scent variations. According to the Fragrance Foundation, popular fruity profiles predicted to continue into 2025 includes pear, mango, raspberry, and cherry, with citrus profiles including orange, lemon, and bergamot. We can expect to see a lot more of these product launches designed with these scent profiles in particular, especially as consumers seek out personal care and candles for both self-care as well as wellness benefits. In fact, when looking at consumer insights, 48% of U.S. consumers have a specific and special cleansing product or step that they use for specific occasions. 67% of Canadian adults that use air care products actually deem scent as an important factor. And then 62% of UK consumers with stress say that daily rituals are a very important way in terms of how they uh, help to lift their mood. So I just want to note that keeping consumer insights top of mind can surely aid with the whole product as well as fragrance development process. So Stephen will now poll our first question, and it's really just to understand some of the types of projects that you may be working on. So I'll give it a few seconds here. And we All can right. leave the poll open a minute. You'll see the results roll in on the chat as people respond to that. Thank you, Stephen. So first up, we have our one of our trends that we call fruit forward, right? This trend is all about reimagined takes on those fruity notes consumers are very familiar with. Across categories, the versatility of the fruit inspired note can really elevate the final product, depending on what the brand is attempting to convey to the consumer. Balancing a lot of these juicy fruits with bubbly notes blended with traditional florals can really captivate the consumer, like Kayali's Eden Sparkling Lychee, which spotlights both lychee as well as rose. We also have Skylar's Peach Fields. Uh, they have their hair and body mist that really focuses on the fresh peach notes as well as osmantis. And according to Spate, peach perfumes have seen a 60% growth year over year with citrus type fragrances at 39.2%. Net is also one of those that are jumping on this fruit forward trend with their 12th night candle launch um, that spotlights pear, norali, linden blossom, and their newest launch, I believe, uh, pear jam includes this Japanese pear with as a main centerpiece supported by notes of Bulgarian rose as well as raspberry pulp. So now we're going to dive in um, into the actual fragrances that were inspired by this. And I'm going to hand it over to Jim to take you through the first two inspired by the Fruit Forward trend. 
So the first fragrance in the presentation is going to be Peach Daydream. Uh, it starts out with a soft, juicy peach note on top that blends into a soft, powdery iris in the middle and has a very nice, clean musk dry down. Um, the transitions between the top, middle, and base notes are very consistent. It's a very well put together fragrance. The second fragrance would be lychee petals. Um, it starts out with a blend of fruity green lychee with a touch of grapefruit. Uh, it's a nice bright green introduction to the fragrance. The heart is of an elegant modern rose that transitions into a creamy sandalwood with a rich amber complement in the base. Thank you, Jim. And I know some of you are still continuing to smell, so mm -hmm. we'll give it a few seconds, but we will be moving forward to the next. All right. So the next trend is what we call soft blossoms, and this really focuses on in-season florals like jasmine, peony, and cherry blossom with fruity infusions that really celebrate the season. Oftentimes, uh, this type actually leans more into the fantasy floral notes and a lot of more of the imaginative concepts while being more fine fragrance inspired. So celebrating their annual cherry blossom season, Diptyque launched their limited edition cherry blossom candle in Asia, and it really focuses on those iconic pink blooms and fruiting nuances in the aroma. Uh, launched in the European market, just as another viewpoint, Trudon's Vesta candle brings fresh florals with notes of tangerine, freesia, jasmine, and rose for a very, you know, just an overall lovely home scent. And for a more uplifting fruity floral, Tree Hut's newest Pink Hibiscus. This was actually part of their spring 2024 in bloom collection launch. Uh, this one in particular is scented with key notes of fresh hibiscus, poppy, and juicy raspberry. So diving into the next two fragrances, I'm gonna pass it over to Jim to take you through them. So the first fragrance under Soft Blossoms is a Nashi Pear and Violet. Uh, it combines a bright, sweet, juicy pear note with the green violet floral. Uh, the violet floral is also supported by a soft freesia and jasmine note, and then it dries down into a blend of amber and musk. And then the second fragrance is the strawberry and peony. The Strawberry is a touch sweeter with the complement of a little bit more pear into this fragrance as well. There's a bright floral peony note with a warm amber and moss base that's very powdery and clean. Thank you, Jim. And moving on, finally, we have solar tones, and this is often associated as a vacation type of scent with transportive elements paired with fruity accords, uh, evoking a feeling of warmth. You know, a lot of these solar notes can really help deliver brightness to the scent. Sunspill is one of uh, five fragrances in Beauty Counter's newest clean perfume line and conveys this trend through its sun-drenched citrus notes of both grapefruit as well as neroli. Uh, incorporating these types of citrus notes really helps to provide lift to the fragrance as well as brightness that can often be described as sunny and luminous. And one of the trendier brands that you see here, Vacation, actually launched their scent, also called Vacation, uh, in both candle as well as perfume format. And this one in particular offers a very transportive element through its usage of uh, both co coconut as well as banana and what they describe as the uh, scent of sunscreen and swimming pool. So I'm going to pass it over to Jim to kind of take you through the last two fragrances in our Endless Weekend collection. All right, Jim. And the first fragrance up in Solar Tones is Pomelo Sun. Uh, the fragrance opens with a very zesty combination of tropical pomelo and bright green grapefruit notes. There's a powdery gardenia for the heart that's complemented with the green violet notes. Uh, the sweetness of the sugar cane dries down into a warm sandalwood with olibanum accenting it. Thank you. And the last fragrance in Solar Tone in the collection is 
poolside oasis. This fragrance is very reminiscent of the summer smell of sunscreen. The, the combination of the banana and coconut gives almost a, a very tropical character to it. Um, it brings a, a touch of that sort of tropical nature to a local area. It's got a really nice floral heart that dries down into a very clean base. Thank you, Jim. And hopefully you guys are still smelling through the, the fragrances and feel free to revisit them uh, after you've dipped them in the blotters. And again, this wraps up our presentation on exploring fruity florals for product design. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. And we really hope you enjoyed our olfactive session with our fruity florals. We will now take a moment for Stephen to poll our last question on which fragrance you are most excited to try. Thank you, Cindy. I did launch that poll, so everyone should see that on their screens. They can go ahead and answer. And also, we did have a question roll in during the presentation. It was a two part. The second part was, is it possible to get samples of our fragrances? Yes, most definitely. Please reach out to your sales rep or you can follow up directly with someone from this meeting or you can reach out on our website. We'd be happy to get you those samples. And the other question is one for you, Cindy. It's going to be, how long do you predict fruit forward scents will trend? Will they become less popular after the summer and reemerge during the next spring summer season? Oh, I think fruit forward is one of those trends that we'll probably see uh, continuing on um, into next year, just because there's so many, there's it's so versatile. There's so many different takes and directions that you can go with it. So it's something that we'll probably see across not just in the fine fragrance or personal care, you'll probably see it across the other market segments as well. And so any other questions, Stephen? No, that was it. I don't see anything else. You did a great job today. All right, thank you. And we'd love to you know, help everyone leverage these fragrances for your specific product, customer, or brand. So for those that were not able to receive the fragrance samples, as Stephen mentioned, please contact your account representative or email us at Orchidia Fragrances at Orchidia.com and someone from our team will definitely be in touch. So everyone that did register for this webinar will receive a post event email after this with an on-demand video for you to rewatch at any time. Uh, thank you again so much for tuning in today. And I want to, you know, just say thank you <laughs> and enjoy.